Welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm Derek Smith, and I'm sure you're wondering what in the world is up with the motorhome behind you, Derek. I blew up my truck engine. So I'm getting another engine installed, but it's not ready yet. So we got a camper trip, we're taking a motorhome. In this video, I'm gonna show you what the difference is between taking a motorhome versus a pop-up camper. Just like on your pop-up camper, make sure all your latches and hatches are closed before travel. With a pop-up camper, you don't need to do this. You can go through anywhere. But with a motorhome, you gotta know your height. And I'll add another two feet for that AC. So 11 foot is what I'm going with. Inside the camper, roof fence. Make sure they're all closed. And we're ready to roll. Now you may be wondering how hard are these to drive? They're pretty easy. You just got to keep in mind a few things. First, increase your following distance. The bigger the vehicle, the longer it takes to stop. So this isn't like towing a 2,500 pound pop-up camper. You got to plan a little bit more room, especially at highway speeds. Tractor trailers past you will push you around a little bit. So a big truck. Be prepared to get a little wind gust. All right, we're pretty close to the campground. Something to note, if you're going to be using an onboard gas generator in a motorhome, you want to make sure you have enough fuel. So once you get down to a quarter of a tank, your generator is not going to run anymore. So if you're taking a motorhome out with a gas generator, make sure you have a full tank before you get to the campsite if you're going to be on generator power. Got another Coleman pulling in. It's Sunday here at Shenandoah Valley Campground, and we've been having a blast, hanging out with my friends, with their Coleman's here in front of me. And of course, I got the motorhome this weekend since my truck's down. So I'll show you some of the differences, um, motorhome versus pop-up camper inside. First is counter space. You see, you don't have much more counter space than you would in a pop-up camper. Of course, this user ha unit has a range, three burner. Back here to the bed, small bed. Big benefit for pop-up campers versus motorhome is the size of the bed. You got two larger beds on average than any motorhome out there. Of course, these will do the same thing as your pop-up. This dinette will convert to a bed. This is a bed up here as well in the loft area or guitar storage and bathroom with full shower. This is a nice touch. The Thermostat for the AC and the heat is right here by the bed. You don't have to get up. That was nice. This is another benefit for motorhomes. Bigger fridges. Transportation. When you take the motorhome, you're stuck with the motorhome. You don't have any other wheels. With a pop-up camper, you got your tow vehicle. You're mobile. You can go anywhere. If you have the ability to rent or borrow a motorhome, go for it. Take it out. Experience it but it's really not that much different than any other camper. And remember, most of your time camping, you're not hanging out inside the camper. You're out socializing, doing activities, going on hikes, fishing, enjoying the campground or the surrounding area. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe and smash that notification bell, and I will see you at the campground.